In this video, we discuss about advantages of recursion and disadvantages of recursion. Coming to advantages of recursion, the length of the program decreases because of using recursion. Complex programs are simplified and complex programs are easily written by using recursion. If we go for examples, we will understand that particular case. Complex programs can be easily written by using recursion. The recursion is used for problems which are inherently recursive such as factorial of a number, towers of an i, GCD of two numbers, finding Fibonacci series and similarly in the data structures we have tree traversals in order, pre-order and post-order traversals etc. Similarly in order to find out uh, binary search, in order to perform binary search, merge sort etc. In different scenarios, in different cases we will use recursion concept. Now coming to the disadvantages of recursion, there are some uh, disadvantages are also. First one, understanding recursive code is difficult. So it will become somewhat hard to understand the recursive code. Analyzing recursive code also becomes difficult. It will be some uh, time consuming process. The program enters into infinite loop if we do not properly handle recursion that means if we do not properly write the code for recursion then it will repeatedly call the same functions for infinite number of times that means the program enters into infinite loop next one the computer memory is exhaust exhausted if the recursion enters into infinite loop why because all the intermediate values they are stored in the memory and whenever we call a function then automatically the variables in those functions they will occupy memory etc. Then excessive memory usage will be done if the recursion enters into infinite loop. Next one excessive function calls are being used that means a number of function calls are called. Next one each function called will occupy memory in the stack. Whenever we call a function, what is recursion? Recursion means a function that calls itself. It is called as a recursion. That means whenever a function is called, then automatically the function will be placed in the <coughs> one particular memory area that is called as stack. Stack is nothing but here we have written stack here. Stack is nothing but it is a portion of the memory. One particular area of memory is called as a stack. Stack is used for storing temporary variables and intermediate values. Whenever we call a function, then that particular function will consume some memory in the stack and all the variables declared in that function will occupy memory in that stack. Next one, execution of recursive functions is slower than non-recursive functions. Why? Because uh, due to heavy involvement of stack, there will always be function calling and uh, whenever a function is called, then uh, the variables declared in, the, in those function, in that particular function is stored in the stack and whenever uh, the function is completed, then those variables are removed from the stack. That means there is a heavy involvement of stack in the recursion concept. Due to this process, the execution of recursive functions will be a little bit slower than non-recursive functions. In this video, we have discussed about different advantages and disadvantages of recursion. In the next video, we discuss about the stack involvement of recursion and why the recursive functions execute a little bit slower than non-recursive functions.